Welcome back to Benny's Custom Works, proudly supported by Valvoline and Spares Box. Don't forget BCW5 on checkout. This week we're down here at Sydney Dragway, got the Cresta. This is our final test before we send the, the Cresta and the Mustang to the US. Uh, this is a private test day run by the guys at Street 20. Um, we're going to be having a ton of video of the Cresta and also other cars today, so let's go and check it out. on that boost though. I'll uh, definitely be needing Matty Wi-Fi for that one because, it, I mean, it moved. It went fantastically good off the line. Um, we can definitely put a lot more power in the hit. And uh, yeah, I think next next pass, once we pull the data from it, uh, yeah, we'll get Matty to have a bit of a muck around. And I think we're just gonna put a shitload of power in it and, and see what it does because the track is fantastic. The track's on fuel today, so. Our launch RPM was about 4200 from memory. Um, yeah, the track didn't even look like not taking it, so we can definitely um, ramp up that start line RPM and, and give it a hit. Oh, it's good to be back in the car. bad but a lot of stuff's changed between going from the 42 to the 45 um, it's a lot more efficient turbo even though it's technically only rated for 50 more horsepower um, it, it is very much a different turbo so it's now making um, a lot more boosts on the same duty cycle on the gate so what that means is we've had to pull a lot of duty out um, but Maddie's still left a pretty aggressive ramp rate in so that it still makes a lot of boost pretty early um, that particular pass we were targeting about 44 psi um, and we decided to just do an eighth mile pass to see what the result is. Um, interestingly, also the eighth mile pass that I did the first pass, 
I actually got it off the throttle completely at 4.9 seconds and still ran a 5.3. So um, it, it was to the 330 foot, it was equal to my PV on about 15 pound less boost. So um, yeah, this new G45 is definitely uh, leaps and bounds beyond a G42 for a, for a Barra specifically. Um, on other engines, you may not get the same results, but yeah, in this particular combo, it's, it's definitely completely transformed the car. So we're pretty interested to see uh, what the time set tells us when we go through the, the ticket booth. Maddie's come through for us, so we'll uh, load the shoot up and pretty much go back and grab a time card and see how good we went.
tonight's been a bit of a roller coaster ride as drag racing sometimes is. Um, we, while we have PB, we didn't really get to the target that we were hoping. I, the early data that we were playing around with with Maddie, like the car was way stronger in the front half of the track than with the old turbo. So I kind of thought we were going to cakewalk a seven tonight, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be. We PB'd tonight, um, well twice actually. So we ran an 812 and an 815 uh, tonight, which were both better than the previous 816. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's still some work to do. Um, our charge voltage is dropping off substantially by the end of the track. The lowest I think we saw is about 11.8 volts, which um, greatly inhibits things like ignition system and fuel pumps, uh, also injectors. So uh, we need to get on top of that. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow's job because the engine's actually coming out of the car tomorrow also to go to Empire, because um, we're gonna give it a quick freshen up before we do chuck the car in the container and go to America. But I do want to actually sort this charge voltage issue out before we pull the car apart. So uh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow's job. But uh, I think that's enough rambling for tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.